with me. It's fantastic. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Uh, this was the key of the brief, actually, because I wanted to get a sense of this castle. Now, I'm starting to give you information that exactly the main door of the main castle, actually the main door of the castle, which actually it was built by Carol in Neo-German Renaissance between 1873-1914. We are talking about the inauguration of the castle in 1883. During your visit you'll see a lot of styles here. Baroque, Art Nouveau, Rococo, uh, Neo-German, Italian Renaissance, Turkish room, Moorish chamber, French corridor, so it's a mixture of everything. Carol wants to have a different castle like those from at the entrance here, as you notice, there are four statues. There are the four seasons. If you look closer, there are babies. There are babies three and a half years old. You'll see it on the way to those guys on the left. I'll tell you on the spot why there are here, these statues. The castle, it was built with electricity, vacuum cleaner, elevator, central heating system. You'll see fireplaces everywhere. The fireplace is just decoration. The heating is coming from the walls. Let's go now up to the main chamber of the castle, the key chamber of the castle on the red carpet, the Hall of Honor. In Romania, the reaction engine for the planes, yeah. Henry Quanda. This airport during the Second World War, it was a German military base because 40 kilometers north from here, we will pass by in 45 minutes, there are the petrol fields, the oil fields. We have three huge refineries from Ploesti. And the Germans, they actually set up troops here because Romania started the Second World War along the German in the beginning and we finish on the other side. So they are taking fuel from Ploesh refineries. We will pass by the refineries, petrol fields, oil fields from Ploesh like in half an hour, 40 minutes. We are heading now north, straight north. In this area, in this square, we usually have demonstrations, protests, when we are not happy with the gentleman pretending working there inside. Uh, on the left hand side, there is a yellow building between the trees with a giraffe in front. That is the Museum of Natural Sciences, Grigore Antipa, very interesting museum. And now we are entering to Aviators Boulevard. We are entering in, in the northern part of the city. The residential area, you see large boulevards, big parks, uh, consulates, embassies. So in this area, in the northern part of Bucharest, actually, you would not find the communist apartments like in the other sides, like the city center. It's the old town, we call it with the old building. But if you take a metro or a subway and you go out three station later, you will see Bucharest also is full of the block of flats of the apartments. More than three million and a half inhabitants. Yeah? Bucharest is the capital of Romania. Bucuresti in Romanian language. Bucur Bucurie means joy. Yeah? Bucur, Bucur, it was a shepherd actually named Bucur. And it's a capital of Romania after 17th century. If we are speaking geographically about Romania, we talk about five main regions. We are now in the central south. The central south of Romania, Valachia, is flat the agriculture area. Southeast, the exit to the Black Sea, it's Dobroja. Southwest, the border with Serbia, we call it Krishana, but not. In the middle of the country, surrounded by the Carpathian Mountains, it's Transylvania. We'll be there after Peles, so when we reach Brasov, we'll be in Transylvania. Now we're still in Valachia. And then north northeast we have Moldova. Moldova is a region, but there is also Republic of Moldavia and the Republic of Moldavia, now it's an independent state. The Republic of Moldavia, it was actually part of Romania between the two world wars. So between 1918, 1945, the Republic of Moldavia from today, it was actually part of Romania. After the second world war, the border changed a lot. The Republic of Moldavia became part of Soviet Union. Romania, it was never part of Soviet Union. We had communism after 1948 till 1989 uh, December, but no part of Soviet Union, yeah. In front of us, 
Pegasus. Pegasus will pass by. It's a statue dedicated to the pilots from the First World War, to the aviators Pegasus, yeah, Aviators Boulevard. Very, very strict with the timing, yeah, because it's one day and it's not fair for you to wait for those which are late. So we're gonna work as a team today. My name is Emmanuel. You know my name because of the messages yesterday. Nice to meet you, all of you. I know it's still early in the morning. I'll start to give you some infos before you are starting to take the net. Uh, I would like to introduce our driver on my left here. It's uh, Kosti. Good morning, Kosti. Our, our driver for today, he will take care of us, bringing us back safe and sound tonight in Bucharest. Yesterday, we, we came back around 7.45, 8 o'clock, but we have a delay for 15 minutes from Bran. Somebody also didn't make it, so they took the train back to Bucharest. So, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be too scared, don't worry. Yeah? Uh, I will not like to start the morning like this, but yes, it's one day, it's a full day, it's a 12-hour trip, so it's uh, more than 370 kilometers covered over the mountains, three stops, so yeah. I'm gonna give you now uh, short infos about the plan. Uh, first of all, we have to get out of the city. Of course, it's rush hour. Uh, it's during the week, so everybody goes up and down with the cars to jobs. And uh, we'll take out, uh, we'll go out from the city, and then we we'll take like around 100 kilometers flat, flat area, and then start to go up to the mountains. We will be in our first stop, Pelesh, Pelesh Castle, beautiful place. There is a key of the tour because. Some of you, you, I didn't have the numbers, uh, phone, num uh, phone numbers, so you don't know already the infos, but for Pelesh Castle it's very important that we go straight to the door in order to try to avoid the other coaches, the other buses, because at the door it will be a little bit crowded. Uh, it's always like this, Pelesh Castle, there are buses coming at the same time, doing the same trip. So it's important that we don't lose the time with the ticket line. If there is a line, we never know. It can be a big line, can be nobody. But like this, we need this 50 lay cash or 10 euros per person to go straight to the door, arrange the tickets inside. So we go straight to the door. Of course, if it's a line there and the you... Line. down, go in the garden, pictures, 11.15, 11.15 departure, remember the toilets are at the entrance of the castle, don't forget to use the toilet, at the, the coffee castle. bar it's only one toilet, you will not have time for anything, better pictures, then relax a little bit, walk to the garden and then go up to the bus, 11.15, mm. 